Custom encryption. Can you get sense of this code file and write the function that will decode the given encrypted file content? Find the encrypted file here. And code file might be good to analyze and get the flag. Understand the encryption algorithm to come up with decryption algorithm. All right, well, let's see what we got. There's the encrypted flag. There's the Python file. OK, so the encrypted flag looks like they give us this A and B and some array of numbers. All right, so custom encryption. We take in a message. We send it to this test function. It creates P and G. Which, uh, which are prime, generates random numbers, I guess from like p minus 10 to p and g minus 10 to g, prints those out, it then computes this generator function g to the x power mod p. So we take g to the a mod p, g to the b mod p, Gives us U and V, and we compute. This looks like a Diffie-Hellman key exchange algorithm, except it's all in one place. Um, so we create key, which is V to the A, and B keys. Yeah, so this really does look like a Diffie-Hellman key exchange algorithm, except with only one party, which is weird. All right, so then we get this key. We go to dynamic exclusive or encryption, which loops through the plain text in reverse order, doing exclusive or with the text key. Okay, and then we encrypt this thing, which takes a the ASCII value of the character, multiplies it by the key and multiplies it by 311. Okay, so if we want to decrypt that, we would take a ciphertext and we would get back presumably a string. So we'd go through the ciphertext. We'll say plain gets take num divided by the key divided by 311. So that should undo that. We multiplied by the key, we multiplied by 311. So we took a character, we got an ASCII value, we did the multiplication, we take this ASCII value, we divide, we make sure that's an integer because floating point division, we make it a character. I mean, that feels pretty good. All right, so then for this exclusive or decrypt, three, six, seven, eight, we, I guess, don't do it backwards. Um, Sure. So so we go through the cipher text, and then we do a decrypted character. So we just go through it backwards, doing the same exclusive or. Now they've told us that A is 94 and B is 21. So we don't have random numbers. So we'll take our cipher text. 
decrypt that to get plain text. I guess we need to do these in reverse order. So we'll take in our cipher text. We'll get back the semi cipher, which we will then exclusive order to get our plain text. And presumably, our plain text will be in reverse order. So we'll reverse it. Okay, so that means this thing needs to take in a cipher text. And then so we've got our P and Q. We hard code A B because we know them. We compute the generator. Uh, this should be decrypt. So we decrypt the cipher text to get the semi cipher, and then we take the semi cipher and we exclusive word to get the plain text. Okay, so now we need to make this message. Be this value of stuff. Okay. Let's see what we did wrong. Okay, so right, this is the decrypted character. And there we go. Custom decrypted thing. So basically we used the code itself and re-implemented it to do things in reverse order. I'll go through it again. So we had an encrypt method that multiplied by the key and multiplied by 311. So we made a decrypt that divided by the key and divided by 311. Where an encrypt function for exclusive or went through in reverse order. So we went through it in normal order, but then printed out the, the plain text in reverse order. And we did these things in the opposite order. We hard coded in the values of A and B since we know them and the value of the message. And there we have, whoops, let's grab our flag. 